Hello and welcome to another Flutter Mentor video where we're going to learn how to manipulate the size of the new Flutter buttons, which are elevated button, text button, and outline button. And they each replace the raise button, the flat button, and the outline button. <laughs> Huge difference in this last one, huh? But semantics aside, how to manipulate their size has changed and let's get on to that. Fortunately, it has become easier than before. You can check out the video on the top right to see how to change the width of a raise button or an outline button, and you'll see that it's much more complicated, while the flat button already had the property within it. So that one was easy. But now all of these buttons are changed the same way. Before we get to that, let me just show you how easy it is to give padding to each of the buttons. It's as simple as using the padding property right here, and then using edge insets dot all in this case, it could be a more specific one if you prefer, and then you just give it the value you say and boom the elevated button is now much more padded up too much in fact now that's better and if this code is confusing I'll just start from the beginning I'll just copy this right now and what you gotta do is you're in the elevated button widget and then as you can see there's the on press and the child property like usual and it has a few other properties but the one you want to focus on is style pretty much everything you need is gonna be here and then you use the same name of the widget you're using elevated button dot style from and now within style from you have all the properties that will style the button which are actually being shown right here or you could press control space and it will would list them out like this and what I had already preset here is the colors the primary color in this case equals the background color of the elevated button the on primary relates to the button color and the on surface is the sale color let's get rid of it for now and let's give the padding to all the buttons just so you can see that it works for all of them and the quick side note if you want to know how to change the border of the outline button this is how you use the side property and then border side and you give it the color you want you can also define the width if you want very simple. In fact, let's make it a little bit thicker just so you can see it. There it is. And now let's put it back to default. And let's get to the point of the video. All buttons usually wrap a child. And so the size of the button will never be less than the child's size. So obviously if I have elevated button written, then the width isn't going to be smaller than the space between the first letter and the last letter. Because then the child wouldn't fit in the parent. So what you can change about these buttons is the minimum size. That's what you can control while being aware that it will never be smaller than the child's size. And now what does minimum size take if you use control Q it will tell you it expects a size class just like it says here type size so in this case it's just a size class like this and once you're here you can see it takes a width and a height in double values and these are positional arguments so you just come here and type them in and separate them with a comma for example 20 by 20 if I save it it remains the same that's because of the padding but let's make this huge 50 to each side and don't forget you can use control Q to see which one comes first first is the width value and then it's the height value so this is the width and this is the height and now if I save it it will be visible it grew a little bit but let's make it super big just ridiculously huge and save it now and now you can start seeing that we can manipulate the button let's give it way more width than height now and that is a seriously huge button and now let's apply it to all the other buttons not as big otherwise it would overflow from the screen but let's make it 150 for all of them and now I'm going to save it. And as you can see, they've all changed sizes. And that's one of the beautiful things about the new buttons. It's incredibly easy and simple to define the minimum size of each button. And let me do something really quick. I'm going to save this. And now that's an L. Just to remind you to please drop a like if you learned something. And I'm not going to draw an S. But if you want to keep on learning Flutter, make sure to subscribe as well. This will be all for now. This is Flutter Mentor. And out.